Hey fellow Vault Wearers, we just got a new amazing shotgun from the scoreboard rip daring cold shoulder cold shoulder shotgun is in here if you didn't start grinding the scoreboard the good news for you it's rank 5 so very early on the scoreboard you can unlock this cool gun literally cool it does cold damage and freeze enemies it does not have any stars i renamed my to have it sorted but its name originally just called shoulder doesn't have any stars but it is in effect freestyle legendary with extra damage to cryptids that's a second star the first star is quad ammo capacity which means you can hold eight shotgun shells and not just two and it's freezing targets for five seconds adding a lot of cryo damage on top of everything best part it is possible to use it effectively as a full health build that the part i like the most now the cost of crafting is not super expensive you can find it on your weapons workbench after you claim it from the scoreboard under machine guns and it is called cold shoulder so you can see the cost of crafting those are two legendary modules some gear adhesive oil screw steel and wood starting at level 15 and maxes out at level 45 as you probably noticed the cryo damage is not changing at all so only the base damage is affected by its level which means if you are a low level player that's your best and strongest weapon if you are like level 15 you can craft it that's your best bet there is no stronger weapon at level 15. modifications and how the gun works what are the best modifications for it i have those equipped in regards of the receiver as well similar situation the changes to the receiver can affect the ballistic damage do not affect the cryo damage so it's a little bit different situation than with most weapons as i noticed Prioritizing the critical shot damage is way better, of course, if you want to use VATS and you shoot with this weapon, it performs great with VATS, than pure damage boosting receivers. So I'm using severe receiver, that's like compromise between boosting my base damage and boosting my critical damage. For boss fights, I would probably recommend calibrated receiver because that's more critical shot damage. And the hardened receiver or prime receiver those two only if you don't plan to use vats if you don't plan to use vats yes you absolutely can go with one of those to improve your damage next about the barrel i go for the cheapest vats so i'm using a line long barrel and of course range is an issue for shotgun so always long i would not recommend short barrel or saved off that's 36 it's like a little bit more than a melee range so you probably don't want that 72 is still very short so that's still very short range but at least not a melee range next a line stock for the same reason and you could use forceful stock it's reducing ap cost as well and huge durability bar but from my experience this weapon is very durable so durability bar not my concern I didn't manage to break it yet, and I was playing with it a lot, so not my concern, the durability is perfect. I don't even know if it's losing any, so little that I cannot even notice a difference. Next, the reflex side, because I want as well cheap VATS reflex side mods are reducing the VATS cost. The glow side does not. And finally, muzzle I recommend to leave it alone. The muzzles can improve recoil and stuff like that, but look how much range they're taking away. Way too much. The trade-off in range is too high, muzzle do not affect VATS, uh, leave it alone. And finally, it can be repainted if you have other paints for double barrel shotgun, those can be applied, but honestly, they nowhere close to beauty of this cool cold paint nothing else i would not repaint it personally 
Now, even though this gun does not have stars, unfortunately, you cannot add stars to it. It's already legendary. The purpose, it doesn't have any stars is... So you cannot put it into the script machine, I think. That's probably it. Now, let me use it in action on some super mutants and let's talk about its behavior. Shooting at the wall to start with, it leaves a nice snowy mark, but it's not a snowball effect. So it is not affected by Demo Expert or anything like that. It is a standard shotgun. It is a standard loud shotgun. And as you can see, if you use VATS, it is a quick work to kill those super mutants. If you don't, you need to shoot a little bit more. But it does fire fast, so look how fast you can fire. It does fire fast. I do not recommend using receivers that fire even faster than that. As I notice, if you fire too fast, the damage registration, at least in VATS, can be affected. So we don't want that. Look, look at that. Like Those super mutants are evaporating. So damage is there. That's the first shotgun, and I'm super happy about it. That the first shotgun that performs. So we finally have a shotgun that can go and destroy stuff. It probably can kill bosses. I didn't like solo any bosses yet with it to figure it out. But my bet is it can. With all the critical damage that it offers and slowing effect from the cryo, I bet it can. As you can see here, it's not a problem. The only problem, like any shotgun, is the range. If you go too far, enemies are too far, the damage will not be there. Let me see if I can find enemy that will be far enough. Okay, let's use this one. If I run away to this point, then I'm firing. Look, look what's going on with the damage. If I move even farther, I will be doing like nothing. That's already too far. Across the room is already too far for the damage. So that's the only big downside I can see. Luckily, the good news is, regardless how far enemy is, if you are using Enforcer, it will still cripple them. So that's not a problem. Crippling effect is there regardless how far they are. And if you use VATS to target Wing on the Scorch Beast, you will get her down. That's, that's not a problem. That's not an issue at all. It works amazing in VATS. It works decent outside of VATS. It is not a stealth weapon. So that's what you need to know. The freezing effect, I found it very useful for boss fights and for Scorch Beast fights. As you land her, uh, she will not get off quickly. She will get frozen. As long as you keep firing, no one is going anywhere. And this is the Rip Daring. If you have any questions, the cold shoulder from the Rip Daring scoreboard. If you have any questions, please let me know. I would try to answer those. I am currently working on full health build for the Rip Daring. Basically, Rip Daring build. I'm trying to do my best. So that's the work in progress still but you were able to see how well it performed with just shotgunner perks tossed in, jump on level 100 super mutants, they do die, they get frozen. It does leave uh, this like burn effect, or oh, like those ash piles on the ground. I don't know exactly why, as this is, this is a cold damage, the frost damage. Why is it burning them? I bet it's a frostbite. So it's kind of a frostbite everywhere. It's leaving it behind. No idea why. No idea why this is happening. And this is probably everything you need to know about this shotgun. So thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.